Hey, welcome. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can access ATP database table using ATP adapter connection in integration and how you can insert data into that ATP table. So right now, if you will see that we have one table that is XX country code in this table, we don't have value right now. So I will create one integration in this integration. I will use request payload and using that request user will enter the country code and country name and that same will be inserted into this table. So let's get started. So first I will create one app driven orchestration integration and in that integration I will use the same. So first I will go to go in integration. So if you will see in previous video I have already created connection ATP connection. So in this integration I will use same ATP connection that is Fox ATP trigger and invoke connection. This you can say that Oracle ATP type and also I have created rest connection that fox rest connection so that we can configure the request and response payload. So here what we will do I will create one integration that will be app driven and let me give the name FTP and this will be one uh, FTP insert data into ATP table 01 okay so this is will be first and here okay so this is not allowed so i will use this one okay and here in package i will not give anything just click on this create button so integration is created so first what i need to do i need to configure the request payload right so for configuring the request payload i require the rest adapter so here i have created rest connection earlier so i will use same so yeah so start rest i will select over here and here i have to give the path as insert data okay and here as i am going to configure the request payload so i will select post over here so i will select request payload and in response payload i will not select anything so i will not re uh, configure a requ response payload in this integration okay so just click next so what kind of request payload will be and this payload a structure of the request so I have to assign here. So I will create one structure for request. So here I will give suppose p underscore c o n country c o u country code suppose i n d for example and p underscore country name okay and i india okay so this will be request payload user will enter these two value and the same value will be inserted into the atp table so here i will put there and click on ok if you want to know more about these all these things in previous video i will explain all these things so you can refer my previous video just click on next and click on done now you can see that as we don't have response payload that's why we don't have response mapper over here so this is the start endpoint rest endpoint in which i can i will take the request from user okay so i have to use this request so first i have to use the adapter so here i will use atp adapter for inserting data into the table so i have created one adapter so that is fox atp trigger invoke so here I will go and I will enter the name. So here I will give ATP insert ATP. Okay. And here we have three operation that invoke a store procedure, run a SQL statement and perform an operation on table. So suppose if I want to insert data into table, right? So I am going to perform operation on table. So simply I will select insert. Okay. And if you want to update the data into the table, I will select update. We have another option that insert or update. So if you will select this option, so it will try to insert new data into the table. If the data will be already exist, they will update the details of the table. And here I can select, use select a statement over here. So right now I am going to insert data. So I will select insert. Okay, and this to run a SQL statement, if you will select the run a SQL statement, you need to write the SQL query over there. Okay, and first option is that invoke SQL procedure. So using this option, you can call a PLSQL package 
to this from through this adapter okay so here i will select insert now click on next so now you have to select the schema in which schema you have created a table so if you will see i have created a table in the schema right the schema name is that if you will see this is the connection name property so schema name is nothing is a username so here you can say that atp underscore user this is my schema okay and also you can verify the schema name as that this is my table name okay so here you can go for that select a star from all objects where object name equals to table name so here it will give you the schema name of this table so here you can say that this is my table name and this is the owner of schema of this table so atp underscore user so here in the connection i have to select that atp underscore user here you can see that atp user and here i have selected the type as table right you can select synonyms you can select materialized view and all all these things right you can select view also so here i am going to select the table so right now if you will see my table name is that access country code so i will copy this table name i will put it here and i will click on search so you can see that my table is reflecting over here so i have to import this table so before going to import first i need to select the table so i have selected this table this side and click on this import table now once you will click on the next it will reflect you here so here you can see that this is my table and this is the two column in the table so just click on ok so here if you will see i have to select one column as a primary so just i will select as a code click on ok and now you can say that this is the details by here clicking on this here you can edit the validation you can add the condition you can even review the code and all so here if you will see this is my table country code if i want to add the sequence i can add sequence over here so but i don't know i don't have any sequence right so just cancel here and here you can see that review filter and all you can go for these things so right now i don't have to do anything i have to just insert data so go next and click on done okay so once you will done it you will get one mapper for this endpoint atp endpoint so here you can say this is my atp and this is the mapper for that atp so using this endpoint the data will be inserted in the table so what kind of data need to be inserted that will be provided by this map map to insert atp this is insert app and this is the mapper of insert atp so i have to just edit so what kind of value i have to insert i have to insert the value which i receive in request right so i will map request value to this table so here you can see that this is the this is the request of this table insert atp and this is the table name here you can see this is the two column of the table so here if you will see in the request wrapper start rest request wrapper i have the request parameter you can see that p country code and p country name here i have created p country name code and p country name so i have to map this two value with this first and this one so here you can see that i have mapped these two values so whatever value user will insert in this column the same will be inserted into the table of column of this table just go for validate and close now our integration is completed that will be inserted that data will be inserted in the table so right now we have one error related to the tracing variable so let me enable the tracing variable so here well, i will add drag and drop this value okay save and yeah you can see that error is resolved so just click on save close and now our integration is configured you can see that uh, integration is configured i have to run this in activate this integration so just go and activate enable the tracing and just activate so just wait for a while it will activate it so right now you can see that this integration is activated just run this integration so here you can see that in body when you will run the integration in body you will get the request payload so this is the payload provided in the integration so i can change this value over here so if you will suppose i will select sl and i will select sri lanka okay so if we will i will go for test the same value will be inserted into the table so here you can say this is the activity stream here you can see the log messages and all so i let me show you all these things so here it will see we got error while invoking atp data okay so what kind of error we got we will check 
so here you can see that while error occur while invoking insert atp application so we got error while calling this in, in integration uh, this table inserting data into table insert row into this table atp completed successfully error what is the error let me go through that db write execute fail insert fail description name caused by or no privileges no privileges on table space data so here you can say that i don't have privileges to insert data into that table that's why we got the error so if, if you will see i will try to insert data here insert into this table okay and suppose ind and india i will get error you can see that the same error we are getting over there missing select keyword okay insert into table okay values values just go yeah so you can see that no privileges on the table space so right now for this user we don't have privileges of the table space it means that we don't have privileges to data so that we can insert data into the table so what we will do first we will assign the privileges to this table so now i have assigned this uh, uh, access table space access to the user and uh, like i have given the roles draw, draw roles to the atp user so this role give access to this user to create table and update table or insert data into the table so as you see that i have inserted right now i have inserted one record into this table so now this table record is inserted successfully in this table if you will see right now we have two records in the table because one record i have earlier inserted while testing so here we see that okay so let me truncate the table t r u n c a t truncate table table name okay so yeah all the record from the table have been deleted now you can see that now i will call the integration again and i will see that how data is inserted right now we don't have data so yeah so we have integration just click on this test again so once i will click on this test you can see that the like, integration is completed successfully and the data will be inserted in the table so we will check that okay so here you can see that we don't have any error so let me show you what kind of uh, request i have sent to the table so here you can see that here we have invoke insert atp this is the end point of that atp adapter right so here in message you can see that i have passed this two value right using mapper sl and sri lanka and the same we will they you can see that inserted into the atp table so here you can see that insert row into this table in oracle atp completed successfully sql one so just go and check the table so here you will see if i will select this table again you can see that sl sri lanka let me change the value i n i and d i india so i will click on the same and the same data will be inserted into that table so here you can see that i n india inserted here i will select pk pk and pakistan will be inserted into the table so yeah you can see it's completed just go and search the table so here in this video you have learned basic insert operation to the table so in next video i will show you how you can delete the data from this table how you can fetch the data from the table and all so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like and yeah if you have any comment and want to ask anything obvious you can comment below thank you so much for watching